And Yago Dora, both these surfers showing great form on their road through to this quarterfinal clash. It's a low, so much speed, hammering down the line, goes for the big rotation. He'll stick it, has more to give. Glides through a little setup carve here, just waiting to see if there's something else to bash on the inside, finds it and clips the section. Well, he leaves nothing on any of his waves. He will milk these things. Yeah, well, he's a, just a hog, really, isn't he? He's just <laughs> milking every bit of energy out of the way. Have a look at the rotation. Nice and clean. Readjusts the feet and goes, hang on a minute. There's another little uh, ledge down here. I'll just give it a little belt to finish that one off. Yeah, just remarkable, his rise, not just in the lineup, but just his rise to world champion. It's been so fun to watch. He's always had that, that high energy, but his confidence is just soaring at the moment. He can go for just about any move he wants and, and believes that he's going to stick it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, here we go. Yago. Let's see if Yago can keep his composure against the 2019 world champ. Looking for a big answer here. Love that release in the tail. Brings it through to the inside. Just gets a little bogged down on the landing there. But we're waiting on the numbers from that opening exchange. Not going to get much out of this, but out the back. Italo just goes skidding through that big front side carve. Comes through to the inside. Super inverted. Not going to hang on to this one. You could see how turbulent the exit was on that manoeuvre. Had a big exchange on the outside. Italo starting to flare up, Rich. Yeah. Look at this the, uh, layback hack to start things off. Streaking down the line. We knew it was going to the air. And uh, just a huge alley-oop on that final section. Sort of reinvigorated him. He hasn't lost anything in saying that. He has been in title contention for six consecutive years. But during that interview... You know, they've got a really good partnership there. And we'll chat to Andy King as it looks like uh, Yago's going to uh, take off on this one. Needs to turn this into big points because it's a low starting to creep away. Nice carve to get started. Gets up into the pocket again, bit more of a vertical approach, and now goes and swings that tail right around and grabs the rail for some control. A much better ride, start to finish for Yago. Great variation, should score pretty well. Let's check the replay. So a good looking way from the takeoff here. And just a swooping carb to start things off. Love the extension out of that one. And that transition straight into that second turn. And then throws a bit of flair on those final two turns. That third in particular just slides the tail out. Trying to keep control in these bumpy sections. And a great carve there. That back arm just uh, acting as a pendulum weight. Driving through the turn. And that one slower one that let me jam a couple. My first one was good. I felt like... Uh, when I watch it back, I feel like I might have left a little meat on the bones, but the second section really laid down, so didn't do what I thought it was going to. But yeah, it was fun. It just bummer it went a little slow, but maybe it played into my favor. I just need to get lucky with one at the end. Italo's got to watch himself here. Yeah, he's made a heat of it, but here comes the uh, the counter punch from Italo. The first goal for Italo. Load up heaps of speed. Big section coming his way. And he is oh. so close to sticking. A monster air. Definitely the biggest that we would have seen at Strickland Bay so far. He had a few big ones here in the free surfing sessions. Gabrielle and Philippe and also Italo, of course. They've been adopting that one. And they've brought it right into their package. Well, Yago's going to try and get in the mix here. Loads up the speed. Takes to the sky. Oh, I thought for a moment he was going to ride out of that thing. He jumped down the elevator sure. shaft as well, just getting hammered by the trough. There's so much power at the end of these waves here. But Yago Dora is only after a 5.87. Just over 11 minutes to go, and, and Yago with a good-looking wave standing up at the moment, drops to the bottom. He's going to attack this first section. Nice hit off the top. A couple of tricky ramps to deal oh. with, and he's going to go down. But uh, it was a nice first turn, just couldn't stick the end section. Morgan Siblick will take on the wild card. Liam O'Brien. Wow. Here we go. Yago Dora gets his opportunity here. After a 5.87 out of this ride. Good section to work with here. Drives up into it. Swings the reverse. Creeps forward on his board for a moment, but gets back on the tail pad quickly to squeeze in one last turn. That's what Yago's going to do. He's going to have to sell him on this one first and hope that there's a second. But Italo might extend his lead. Drives off the bottom into the first section. 
Leans on the rail, nice carve to get started. And then explodes through the roof, setting the fins free for a moment. A tricky end section on this ride. He drops over that step. And he pumps his fist in celebration, but with 40 seconds to go. Well, he is buzzing, and for good reason. We're going to see the current world number one and two fight it out in the semis for a spot in the final at the Rip Curl Rotness Search, presented by Corona.